a fair amount of the research I do is eye injury biomechanics. Looking at how eye injuries occur and the specific types of eye injuries that are claimed. Some of the more interesting cases involve globe ruptures or where the eye is actually blown up. Um, it's, it's lost its integrity. One case in particular involved an individual that was working at a construction site. He all of a sudden had an enucleated eye. His, his eye had ruptured, the in integrity of his eye had, had been lost, and he claimed that a wood scaffolding piece had fallen and struck in him in the eye. Uh, upon looking at the case, we realized that the eye injury was not only an enucleated eye, but there was an orbital floor fracture, so the bottom thin layer of the bony orbit had been fractured. And that type of injury is known as a blowout fracture. It occurs when the eye is pushed back into the orbit and causes the pressure to rise so high in the orbit that the bony floor fractures and you have the eye also rupturing from overpressure. There were no injuries to the surrounding area of his orbit, so no traditional black eye, if you will, no lacerations, no abrasions. And so just the, the type of object that was striking him in the eye would have come into play with the bony orbit area here. We would have expected lacerations. We would have expected contusions in this area for such a large object to come in contact with his eye. So our conclusion was that that is not what had occurred at all. Um, and then come to find out, a witness came forward later and said, yeah, I punched the guy in the face. <laughs> and so, yes, that is how you could get a globe rupture with no surrounding injuries uh, to, in terms of abrasions and lacerations and also end up with an orbital floor fracture.